All right, so we've got the bilge pump here. And when I pulled it out, I saw that there's this pump check option to push and hold for five seconds. It will then verify that the pump is getting power and running. So we've got the uh, switches all off. I am getting the solar charge right now because it's sunny in my driveway. But we'll go back to the pump and we're going to try this out and see what happens. And there we go. That guy's running. And we have no battery power applied from the switch. So that's kind of conclusive. Just need to stick it in a bucket and see what happens. All right, so on to part two. We've got our RuleMate 500 gallon per hour bilge pump that came standard with the boat, RM500 ADM. I'm gonna try submerging this in my trusty hefty bucket here and see what happens. And there we go. Just like that, comes on. Let it run, dry. Should eventually turn off. All right, let's try this again. All right, so my impression, or understanding rather, had always been that these were uh, running on an intermittent timer that would test for back pressure in the water, but apparently there is some sort of float in here that triggers this. I can't find it specifically. I don't know if it's in the impeller or somewhere else, but it does appear that this guy is definitely triggered by water level, which gives me a whole lot more confidence leaving this out on the mooring for an entire summer. All right, so in one final test here, I wanted to see at what water level the pump was triggered. And in playing around with it, I think I've come up with a pretty conclusive level it looks like the water wants to get to a point where it can actually be in the pump through the ho uh, at the hose level so right around here as water's flowing in it's gonna get wet any second here as we go lower getting about to that oval on the side there we go 